This week's episode of the Agribusiness Global Update is brought to you by the Agribusiness Global Sourcing Network. Suppliers, distributors, and products at your fingertips at agribusinessglobal.com slash sourcing. Hi, welcome to the Agribusiness Global Update. I'm Dan Jacobs. I'm here with Eric Sfilagoy. Uh, we are here to talk today about the Bayer's acquisition of Monsanto. There's been a lot of uh, talk about that recently, Eric. Um, uh, it, there's been a lot of changing news. It started out as a $42 billion acquisition. It's now up to $62 billion. There was a, uh, a conference call today with uh, Werner Baumann, chairman of the board of, uh, of, of uh, Bayer, and he had some interesting things to say, uh, including, we have long suspect respected Monsanto's business and share their vision of an integrated business that we believe capable of generating value for Bayer, Monsanto, and our key stakeholders. Of course, that remains to be seen. Uh, should this deal go through, it will be uh, make the biggest agricultural company in the world. Uh, Bayer, Monsanto would be about a $23.1 billion company. That compares to the sin- recent Syngenta Chem China deal, which would put them about 14.8, and then the Dow DuPont, which would be about $14.6 billion. So this would be considerably bigger. Yes, and of course, Dan, that's on the agricultural side of the businesses. Obviously, Bayer is a total company, has revenues around $90 billion, so much bigger. But still, $62 billion as a purchase price for Monsanto would be a big chunk of change, obviously. It's something that we have not seen in agriculture and dwarfs, like you say, the other deals we've seen this year for Syngenta and ChemChina and Dow DuPont. Um, some of my takeaways from the uh, uh, phone call this morning with the Bayer folks where they made the announcement that they're hoping to acquire Monsanto. Um, uh, Warner had said that they're committed to making this deal. They're passionate about it because they like societal challenges like trying to feed an additional 3 billion people in the world by 2050. And that the company, if it was combined, would be uh, quadrupling its presence and footprint in the United States and doubling it in Latin America. So, I mean, obviously very important to the farmers uh, in, the, in the North America and South American continents. So. Sure. We, uh, and one of the other last thing that Warner said is that they're still waiting to hear back from Monsanto's executive team about, about all this. So certainly a lot of things will be changing over the next uh, several days and even weeks, and we'll certainly keep you updated on our website and uh, in uh, future updates. Yeah, and Dan, one other thing to point out is I know that um, the question didn't come up during the press, uh, the press briefing about what uh, possible antitrust issues there might be or what divestitures Bayer may have to make from its product lineup uh, to acquire Monsanto. Um, I know one of the things that might come into play there is uh, Monsanto had acquired Delta Pine back in 2007 and as a part of that deal had to divest Stoneville Cotton's brand uh, and they divested it to Bayer. So obviously if uh, you're bringing Monsanto and Bayer together Stoneville may be one of the brands that we see uh, being put on the block to go to someone else in the marketplace. Certainly a lot of moving parts and we'll uh, keep you updated. That's it for this week's Agri-Business Global. We'll see you next week.